Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today I got an exciting uh, review to do of this palette here. It's the Pure Pro um, by Etienne Ortega, uh, who's a celebrity makeup artist um, who's done people like Kim Kardashian and stuff like that. Basically he curated this 18 piece eyeshadow set for Pure Cosmetics um, and it has a wide range of shades. It's not just a, a plain neutral palette, so it's got a little bit of extra pop in there. Um, I did end up doing this look here, but if you wanna hear my thoughts um, of the shades and stuff like that and see how I created this look then just keep on watching of course um, if you end up liking the video feel free to like the video down below and if you want to see more of my content just subscribe guys I'd really appreciate it I'm just starting here out here on YouTube um, so I really appreciate any and all support and I would love to hear from you have you tried this palette do you like stuff from pure cosmetics I have tried a couple things from pure cosmetics um, that I have liked and a couple things that I really did not like so it's been a little hit and miss with them so I'm excited to get into this palette and let you know my thoughts um and yeah that's pretty much it let's get into this look All right, hi guys. Thank you for tuning in again. Um, we're gonna get right into it. So this uh, palette is by uh, Pure Cosmetics um, and they partnered with Etienne Ortega, which is a celebrity makeup artist and um, he's done a lot of socialites and A-list celebrities, it says, including the Kardashians, which it lists on the website proudly. So he's partnered up with them and made this palette. I checked on his Instagram just to see like if he was a super like viral makeup artist. Like I've heard his name before. I haven't really like placed his face with his name, but I just looked and he had about 432,000 followers on Instagram, which is a lot, but it's not as many as some of the other makeup artists that have worked with the Kardashians or some of these other popular people in beauty um, right now. So I'm kind of surprised. I mean, it's still 432,000 and something, something, something more than I have. I'm not blown away with how many subscribers or followers he has, I mean. But yeah, getting into the palette, this is an 18 piece eyeshadow set. I will insert pictures so you can take a look. Uh, there's a lot of uh, shine on the palette itself, so it's, it's a lot of flashback on camera. But anyway, it's an 18 piece eyeshadow set. It comes with a nice big mirror um, that says Pure Pro on it. It also comes with a cute little insert that has Etienne Ortega's um, life motto it says which is makeup is self-expression no rules and then just has like a signature I thought it was a really nice um, little personal touch to add to the palette the shadows he says um, are 18 shades that can be used for all skin tones I will say that it does have a wide variety from cool warm uh, light and dark shades which is kind of awesome because then you can use um, it for a wide variety of looks which is kind of different from the norm which has been like a ton of warm shades a ton of brown shades a ton of neutral shades all in one palette and it's like I like some some different stuff. Right now on Pure Cosmetics or Ulta Beauty, um, this palette is retailing for $42 US. $42 US, if you can understand what I was saying. Um, and it's right now $54.10 on Ulta Beauty, which is a weird price, I know. I do not know why that is. I guess it's a conversion rate. But anyway, it's kind of expensive, um, but you do get 18 eyeshadows, which is nice. We Canadians are used to paying kind of a high price for a lot of makeup. I feel like the exchange rate is terrible, but what can you do? Just so you know, Pure Cosmetics um, does say this palette is vegan, cruelty free, it also is paraben free, and it also is gluten free for anyone that has um, any sensitivities like that, which is kind of cool. I will show you swatches of all 18 shades on my arms, which is why my arms are super crazy right now. So we're gonna start from here. This is Stripped, followed by Legend, Popular, Penny, Money, Muddy, Dreamer Tree and Adobe here. So this is Bossy, Faux, 3 AM, Xenon, Lola, Paradise, Billionaire, Midnight, and Galaxy. So let's get into it. Um, just so you know, uh, foundation that I've been using lately that I got on sale at the drugstore last week. Um, it's Maybelline Matte and Poreless. It's awesome. I'm really impressed with it. Also for underneath my eyes, I used my brand new Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Um, it's awesome. So far, so good. My eyes have huge bags under them. I just know it. And this is concealing it great. I also used it to prime my eyelid because I've seen a lot of um, beauty YouTubers use it. So really excited about this. I'm really surprised how large the product was when I got it. So 
awesome surprise. All right, so we're zoomed in. I'm gonna go in with a color stripped, which is this color here. Just a neutral light shade that can go all over the lid and just um, prep it for the rest of the colors that are gonna come on top of it. Next, we're gonna go in with a fluffy crease brush and I'm just gonna go in starting with the color Popular, which is like a warm, almost an orangey brown. This palette does have a nice large mirror, which is really nice. So I'm just doing my makeup with that right now. But yeah, just going into the crease and bringing it all the way across. We want a nice warm eye today, so going in. Um, so far the shadows are blending really well and I can't say there's too much fallout. Uh, there is a little bit of fallout on the pan, but nothing crazy. And the pigment's pretty good too. All right, so next I'm gonna go in with Adobe, which is like a tr almost like a true red um, brown here. Going in and building that over our creases, mostly working in the outer corner, but then also dragging over to the middle. And I'm just using the same brush. Yeah, I'm gonna pack Money, which is this shimmery, uh, kind of like a reddy brown, dark copper shade. It's a shimmer, definitely. So I'm gonna pack that down on the lid, leaving a little bit in the center to add a lighter shade, but I am packing that across the lid. I'm just gonna blend out the edge of that with our blending crease brush that we've been using because um, you just don't want that harsh edge. Now I'm gonna go in and I'm going to spray my brush, which I'm just using like a flat, a little bit um, less dense brush, kind of like a packing brush, but a little less dense. Um, and I'm gonna spray it with my Smashbox Photo Primer water uh, just to get a little bit better uh, color payoff. So I'm gonna go in with Penny which is, I guess this one's more of like a true, true copper shimmer shade. The other one, Money, is more like a darker copper. And we're just gonna go in and take a little bit of that and put, pop it in the center of the lid here. Definitely with that, you get a lot more color payoff, which is awesome. All right, continuing on, we are going in with um, Muddy, which is a dark brown here in the corner of the palette. And I'm just gonna be putting that on the outer part and then just blending out the edges a little bit. I'm gonna pop a little bit of this Xenon color, which is one of the lighter colors in the palette, but it's a shimmer again. It's kind of like a taupe shimmer, kind of cool. But I'm gonna pop a little bit on the center of the lid here. Okay, I popped a little bit of that on, but I'm also gonna layer a Legend over top of it, which is a warmer shade, because it's a little cool what I just put on. So Legend, which is a orange shimmer, kind of has iridescence iridescence to it. For the outer crease, I'm gonna go in with that muddy shade, that dark brown, and just make a little V with the outer corner of my eye, just near the lash line and pulling it out to the corner. I just need to do the under eye, which I'm taking just an angled brush here, which I use for my crease, and I'm just going in with money and then bringing that all underneath the lid here. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of of that Adobe as well that red uh, that matte red uh, ready brown and just putting that a little bit underneath as well just for a little bit more of a pop and then I'm going to do my brow bone I'm going in with stripped which was the shade that we used all over our lid um, so I'm just gonna use that it's just a light neutral color I have a brow hair that's like literally like sticking straight up I don't even know I don't even know guys and then I'm gonna layer a little bit of that Xenon, that taupey uh, shimmer, which is this one here, that taupey shimmer, and I'm gonna just layer that on top of that strip color we just laid down. Just a little bit, cause this one does pack quite a punch. Yeah, there you go. I'm just gonna take a blending brush and just make sure all my edges are good and everything looks good. It's just like a final check. I didn't get much fallout underneath my eye, so that's pretty good. The pigmentation of the shadows is pretty good as well. I will say though that once I put on the shadows, it seems like the colors have like dimmed. I don't know, they were a little bit more vibrant when I first placed them on and then it seems like now they've just dimmed a little bit, but they look okay on camera. Um, in person, they're a little less bright, I would say. 
I'm gonna go put on lashes and all of that and I will be right back. Hey guys, so we're back. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. It was pretty quick and easy. I applied my lashes here. Um, I used my Ardell um, Mega Lashes in um, 250. They are, and then on the bottom lashes, I use my L'Oreal Lash Paradise, as I always do. A black eyeliner pencil as well on the outer corner, um, and a little bit underneath as well, just to define the eyes a bit. But I didn't want to do a wing liner with this look. I thought it was um, good by itself. I was kind of surprised how the shadows applied, because they applied really brightly, and then I felt like as I wore them, um, they are kind of like dimming down a bit, I would say. I don't think they look quite as um, bright as when I first applied. They are wearing well. I have worn this one for about an hour plus now, so no creasing or anything like that. And the fall, it wasn't that bad either, as you saw. So that's kind of awesome. Um, I will say some of the mattes are a little bit chalky and you saw on the swatches, they're not that pigmented. Some of the darker shades are actually a lot of the darker shades that are kind of like the fun ones, like the purple and the blue and the black, um, they have chunks of glitter in them, which I was kind of surprised by. Um, and I don't think like I really like that about them. I'd rather have like a matte or a really pigmented shimmer. It's a nice palette. It is a little bit pricey. Um, it would be a really nice gift, I would say, um, for someone. I, I think it's like a nice product. It's packaged nicely and I do like the shadows and it has a lot of cool colors. Um, so if you're looking for a gift, something different than the norm of like something that you can find at um, Sephora, I mean, it is at Ulta, I guess, in the States, but we don't have an Ulta, so. <laughs> so that's all for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you want to follow me on social media, my handles will be right here. And then down below, you can click the links um, to follow me there. I would love to hear from you and connect with you. If you want to see more of my content, again, if you want to hit that subscribe button, um, there'll be a little picture of my face that comes in at the end and you can just hit that button and it will subscribe you um, and if you want to watch my other content there will be a video that pops up at the end as well or you can just hit on the sidebar I'm sure some of my videos have popped up there and I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are and I will see you very soon